Do you want your song to sound more professional? Then learn the art of phrasing in singing. Phrasing will transform your song from a mishmash of disjointed notes to a beautifully sculpted piece of music. We will discuss what phrasing is, how to sing a musical phrase, and then I will demo in different styles as I teach you how to apply it to your own songs, and then we will do two important exercises. So, you better get your notebooks out again. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 32 years of teaching voice, 44 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced touring professionals, voice teachers, choral directors, and competition winners. I always give you serious vocal technique made simple and fun. A musical phrase is the way a musician, meaning you, shapes and colors the notes in a musical passage. I call it shaping the musical line. This will bring your song to life, give it more meaning, and beyond that, draws your audience in. Now, this can be an entire semester's course, so I'm going to make it as concise as possible, and then I'm going to refer you to my other videos for more information. The prerequisite for singing a beautiful phrase is the ability to sing a smooth legato line. And the prerequisite for singing a smooth legato line is the ability to sing smooth and clear vowels. So first, you want your vowels to sound aligned so that you don't sound like five different people. Like this. I Not I That's five different people. That's super choppy. Next, you have to be able to place the consonant on the vowel line without disturbing the line. Like this. But if your jaw is tight and flapping up and down like a chihuahua, it's not going to be possible because you're going to be doing this. Choppy and aggressive, not smooth. See my playlist on how to sing smoothly, legato, and if you have trouble with your vowels, then definitely see my playlist on vowels in singing. There are many things that contribute to beautiful phrasing, but today we're going to talk about the most important three elements. Number one, the energy in the musical line that gives you your arc in the phrase. Every phrase goes somewhere, and the wonderful thing is, it's all written in the music if you just look and listen to it. Number two, dynamics. When we talk, we don't speak every word at the same dynamic. Some words might be more important and some words we want to pull back a little bit. Well, it's the same thing when you sing. Otherwise, you will sound like a robot with a beautiful voice. And number three, word stress and how you use your diction to tell a story. Because when we sing, we are always telling a story. So the best way for me to show you how to do this in your own songs is to demo in different styles. So I'm going to use the Elvis song that I've used in previous videos because most people know this song and I've had lots of men and women sing it. It goes like this, and I'm going to draw the arc of the line with my hand. Listen. Cause I can't help falling in love with you. Did you see how the musical line and the words just flowed and how I tapered off at the end? But this is a very common problem that I've seen in this song with people who have a tight jaw and they usually don't realize it, but they go, Cause I can't help falling in love. They're opening and shutting the jaw like a Pez dispenser. Okay, we can't sing a beautiful line like that because the jaw is chopping up the words. So, if you have jaw tension, see my many videos on the jaw. But right now we're going to fix this. You can sing along with me if we want. And you're going to place your jaw in the palm of your hand 
like this. Cause I can't help falling in love with you. Making my own homemade jaw brace allowed my jaw to glide rather than snap and flap up and down. And also pay attention to where the line goes. Cause I can't help, it doesn't end there, falling in love. And it tapers off with you. And what are the most important words? I can't help falling in love. Okay, but sometimes I hear people do this. Falling in love with you. Why would you accent with, right? The most important words are falling in love. You see, your diction helps to tell a story and shape the song. So in your practice, if you want beautiful phrasing, draw the musical line. That's what I do with my students. And the beauty again is it's all given to you in the music. Here's another song I've demoed in other videos, Over the Rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Did you see how I tapered off and added my vibrato as a beautiful ornament? Did you notice that graceful lift in energy on that big jump? Somewhere over the rainbow. And what's the important word? Somewhere, okay, but rainbow. But often I'll hear this. Over the rainbow. The. Why would you accent the? You see, but a lot of you don't pay attention to that. And that's why some of your songs just don't sound right and they don't make sense. So pick your important words that you want to stress just like you were talking to someone. And also, I always tell my students, when in doubt, say the text in the mirror as a monologue. That will tell you which words would I normally stress, which words wouldn't I stress, what sounds natural, what feels right. Then you apply it to your singing. What about a song that has a lot of tension building in the music like this? There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a fever pitch, it's bringing me out the dark. Even though there's that consistent drum beat underneath, bum, 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 I still sang a smooth and intense but quiet musical line, which helped to build the tension in the song. What about a beautiful classical song? Shall we gather by the river? Feet of Tron. That's got to be so peaceful and heavenly. Every note sounding like it melts into the next note. This takes a lot of practice. This doesn't happen overnight. Okay, it's time for our two basic and important exercises. First, we're going to sing a simple five tone ascending descending scale on the numbers of the scale, like this. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Or low voices, I can sing down there with you too. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. But you notice, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, every note blending into the next note. No stopping at the consonants and don't be stingy with your vowels. Not one, two, three, four, five, no. One, two, three, four, five, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Pick your octave. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. There's our arc of the phrase, right? One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Not one, two, three, four, five, four, three. See, that's choppy. So what we're doing here is more than just singing a smooth legato line. We are following the arc of the phrase like this. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise, we're going to sing a full ascending scale on the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's where the line is going. Not one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. One more. You see, once you get used to singing like this, it doesn't become such a chore anymore. It's like built in. When I look at a piece of music, right away I hear where the line goes. I hear the important words. And my music takes shape more quickly. You will sound more professional and you will set yourself apart from all the other singers that just have nice voices but don't do anything with their voices. Remember that vocal exercises are what will build and train your voice for consistency. If you enjoy this kind of work, and I hope you do, and you still haven't gotten my audio exercise training program, Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Exercise Program, I recommend that you do so right away. It's super affordable for all different voice types, all different styles. We work on technique, we troubleshoot vocal problems, we work on styles, vocal colors, textures, and much, much, much more. Plus, I do group classes with members. So see the description below and sign up right away. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. Phrasing brings your song to life and draws your audience to you. Be a real artist. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media and continue mastering your beautiful phrasing, bringing your songs to life. And I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon.